Hello, this is Miri. This is going to be a speedrun tutorial on Blood, um, episodes 1 to 4. And in this section, we're going to talk about how to install the game, which should be pretty simple if you follow these steps. So, there are two sets of files that we're going to need. Um, the first one is going to be from Fresh Supply. Um, press supply will do. You don't need one unit whole blood, even though you can get this from Google goodoldgames.com. Uh, because uh, fresh supply from goodoldgames.com comes uh, bundled with one unit whole blood files. So, but fresh supply will do. It contains the necessary files files that we need. Um, the other part is going to come from N blood itself. If you go to speedrun.com/blood. You arrive on this page and here if you go to resources you're going to see a lot of tools uh, you can grab the map splits from here as well if you want to have uh, map splits for life splits also the auto splitter comes uh, globally with life splits so yeah happy days but click this it should directly download and open it up you're gonna have five files I suggest making a folder like so. Copy the files into your new folder. And here's a README file um, from mBlood. And uh, open up the README file, and it's going to contain all the necessary uh, information and basically the files that you have to copy over from your Fresh Supply installation folder into this folder. These ones are optional. These are the cryptic passage add-on files plus the demos that are playing while you're in the menu of the game. So anyway, let's go to C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and blood. This is where you're gonna have your installation. Of course it may differ. And if you go to README, let's close up this zip. So it says that are the necessary files are blood.ini, blood.rff. Let's just grab those. These are going to be this one and this one. All right, next one up is gui.rff. And it's going to be here. So what else do we need? We need sounds and surface. So there's sounds and we've got surface. We need tiles. 0 to 17, like that. And we're going to need voxel.dat. So copy these and go back to your folder like so and copy it in here. And now if you click on mblood, it should pop up a setup like this. And just click OK, full HD, OpenGL. Keyboard and mouse, full screen, and let's go. Yeah, that was loud. Um, let's tone that down. Okay. But basically, that's it. And you've got blood running. And in the next part, we're going to talk about how to set up the game. And we are also going to talk about the speed tech and the game mechanics that are essential for speedrunning blood. That's it for now. Cheers.